to figure out where n lambda equals d sine theta comes from, you're going to need to make some constructive interference between some red freaking lasers. So I'm going to take a wave that starts off here at A, and I want something in phase with it that constructively interferes. So that's exactly one extra wavelength there, okay? A little blue wavelength guy, okay? Do you know what else would work? Two of these guys, two little, two little wavelengths. Look at that. Perfect, perfect distance for constructive interference. That's two. Uh, let's go for a three. You know, there's a pattern here. It's just basically a multiple times the wavelength. Okay, does this look familiar? Multiple times the wavelength. Wavelength, multiple, yeah. Multiple, n. There you go. So it's something n times the wavelength. That's where the n lambda comes from. All right. So I'm just going to call that distance down there n lambda. In fact, I'm going to redraw this on a bigger triangle here. We'll blow it up nice and big. The rule goes sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, or as they say, somewhere on holidays. There's the angle, sine, so it's the opposite, the opposite of the angle, you can see it down there, there's the opposite, divided by the long side, the hypotenuse, all right? Now, we can call that a different name, can't we? Because this opposite here is n lambda. And the hypotenuse is the distance in the diffraction grating is d. So I'm just going to rewrite this guy like this. Sine theta equals n lambda over d. Okay, I'll just make some room here. You go into oblivion. d, you multiply both sides by... Then these guys cancel out. Pop. Don't need that little line in the bottom anymore. And look what I'm left with. Why? It's n lambda equals d sine theta. And that's the answer. Now, you might be wondering, hang on a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where? When I did this experiment, this was my angle theta. Okay? Where are you getting this lad here? Where's he coming from? That's not what I remember doing. Yeah, okay. So this is just a little bit of trigonometry and ninjutsu mixed together. So these are opposites. Yeah. In fact, I'll skip all the maths and just draw a really cool shape. This will make this really easy to see. See that angle in this cool kite is equal to this other angle. Look at that deadly kite shape. You can fly that around like a boomerang. Anyway, that angle, that angle. Trust me, they're the same. Okay, you can do some uh, trigonometry if you really want and use proper prob rules. But look, they're the same angle, is my point. So we're just using that as a sneaky little tactic. But that's it. Sure, we got the answer. We're happy. Um, if you're doing a leave insert, just make sure you just write n lambda is the condition for constructive interference. Sometimes they want that in the marking scheme. But that's it. You just draw on the diagram. And you're done.